Hey everyone, it's Hysterica and the Drag Car Sessions, and I'm so happy because today we have Coral Young Group artist and incredible blues guitar player, Michael Colton. Hello. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Pretty good. So it's a beautiful Thursday afternoon in Los Angeles, California, and we're just sort of strolling around a nice little quiet residential neighborhood, and uh, so tell me, what's, uh, what's 2016 looking like for you? Tell me a little bit about your background and your music and your influences and all that fun stuff. 2016 is looking like a lot of playing and releasing a new EP. Cool. So a lot of gigging around Los Angeles and mm -hmm. playing some festivals. I have played guitar pretty much since I can remember. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Eagles. Okay. Jason Isabel has become an influence. Yes, uh, one of my favorites. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Yes. Alex Stones. Very good. Van Morrison. Oh, you're winning lots of brownie points with me today. And Freddie King. Okay. Albert King. Nice. Stevie King. Uh huh. And did I say Albert King? Yes, he did. Albert King. Lots of kings. Lots of kings. What about the king? The king? Yeah, Elvis. Elvis? Yeah. Yeah, I love Elvis. Okay. Elvis the pelvis. You know how to swing. <laughs> Very good. So you've got some new music coming out. I know that. Uh, I'm allowed to say that uh, in my other life, I've, I, I run this marketing company called Coral Young Group, and uh, we've been able to get some premieres for you, and uh, mm -hmm. you've got some new music. Do you want to play a couple tracks? I'd love to play a song. Awesome. And what are we going to hear first? First song is called Busted. Alrighty then. It's a, it's a song that probably, I don't know, I like it. I wrote it. And I have a good ego, healthy ego, but things I do. <laughs> so. Awesome.
Wow. Very nice. Thank you. All righty. Nice so, driving, too. I was sitting there going like, I'm going to get smashed into the next No, scene. no, no. We don't want you dead or, or injured. You know, we got to have you playing live shows and making like great I'm music. Like I'm playing tonight people. at that's, Genghis Khan. That's right. So tell me about your band. Uh, my band are mostly a group of session musicians that I've become friendly with over time. Mm -hmm. So uh, my bass player is a guy named Josh Gonzalez, who is one of the best musicians I've ever met. Mm -hmm. He can play anything, mm -hmm. uh, from jazz to blues to funk, you name it, he can do it. Cool. And, you know, just over time, uh, um, my main drummer is a guy named Reed Pryor. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I just added on keyboards a guy named Luke Miller, and uh, on pedal steel when I can. I love pedal steel. I do. Mm. It's the craziest instrument. I wish more people knew about. It. Best sound. Yep. Yep. And so uh, I got a guy playing pedal steel who just goes by the name of Boo. Boo. Yep. Alrighty then. Boo. <laughs> and he's just he's just this dude that has played with everybody. You name it, he's played with them, and and he kind of just comes in and sits down set you know sets up sits down and blows your mind awesome yeah it's really nice to have him. very cool so i gotta ask you you play the blues and yeah. uh, imagine you're down at the crossroads in the deep south and you've got to do a guitar duel with cb ray vaughn who's gonna win cb ray vaughn okay. <laughs> how about gary clark jr uh i'd give him a run for his money but mm -hmm. i think that he uh he right now could absolutely step on my face with his guitar. Okay. What about Dwayne Allman? Uh, you're asking me like legends. <laughs> like, I, like I have a healthy ego, but it's like, who would win between a praying contest? You and Jesus or Buddha. You know, it's like, uh, you know, Yahweh, which one are you better than? Okay. All right. How about this? So if you had to have that homeless guy in the corner with a guitar, I could outplay him. <laughs> All right. So if you were going to play one guitar duel with one of your absolute favorite guitar heroes who would it be dead. who who would it be yeah it could be living or dead who would it be and what song would it be uh it would be stevie ray vaughn and it would be texas flood good choice very good choice it's amazing to just it's mind-blowing to to realize how long he has been gone mm -hmm. because that, that he was just he was stevie ray vaughn yes he was Thanks. Not the most eloquent uh, description on my part. Stevie Ray Vaughan was Stevie Ray Vaughan. <laughs> but he was. He was. An incredible, incredible talent. Yep. I mean, it's like he just he just made that thing talk. Yep. You know? Um, cool. Uh, so what do you think about this Michael Bolton guy? I think that Michael Bolton has ruined my name on <laughs> Very, a long time ago, I was at an airport, and I, I, my hair was a lot longer. It was just one length all the way down. This was before Michael Bolton cut his hair mm -hmm. a while ago. And I went up to get my plane ticket, and the woman didn't look up at me. She just looked at the ticket, and mm -hmm. she saw a little, you know, extra hair. Right. And she went nuts. She was like, Michael Bolton's here! I'm like, <laughs> no, not Michael Bolton. Um, and I just, you know, there's something bizarre about a guy going around and just he's supposed to be a super nice dude but he, he has slaughtered some classic or diesel he has but i have a whole new respect for him when he performed with lonely island and they did the jack sparrow song i totally agree with you that was some funny shit yep that was some funny shit all right so you're a dad yep. and uh you know i imagine you don't get much sleep so have you written any blues songs about you know just sort of the trials and tribulations about being a dad nope nothing I wish I have, but I, uh, I, I wrote, uh... How about the Got No Sleep Blues? Come on. Let's hear it. <laughs> well, that low down baby, he keeps crying all night long. Said that low down baby keeps a crying all night long. Well, if he keeps crying, won't have a sip, cause I'll be too tired. 
got to get it on. <laughs> I love it. I think it's a major, major, major hit. I think every dad in America is going to be singing that song. <laughs> the, I can't go to sleep and have sex with your mom song. <laughs> <laughs> the baby goes, why do I have to go to sleep? Because if you don't, mommy won't let me have sex with her. <laughs> there you go. Um, cool. Um, I think that's it for questions for right now. I'm just enjoying the music so much. Let's hear some more music. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. I always wanted to play uh, this song, considering I just wrote it. I've always wanted to play. Brand new song, first time debut. No one yes, else has heard it. No one's ever heard it before. Fantastic. I, I can remember all the words. What's it called? Uh, bye bye. Bye bye. Nice song. Beautiful. Um, 
Cool, I think we got time for one more. You want to play one more One more from the new... Well, first I want to know how long you've been driving this camp for. Two years now. Two years? Yeah. I've had all sorts of crazy bands in here. Nice. Yeah, luckily nothing nothing too nuts. I haven't had anyone puke on me yet, which has been good. And, uh, yeah, it's been it's been great. This is, uh, I don't know, installment number 12 or something like that of Drag Car Sessions. I love that, but the high point is nobody's puked on you. I know. <laughs> I know. I... I I did have two girls go down each other in the back seat, though. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, yeah, and I even, there's a little bit on video, too. Did you wash the car? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that was that was a pretty rock and roll thing that happened. Um, yeah, yeah I, can I get a copy of the video? Yes, you can. It's actually on YouTube. You can't see everything, but, you know. That's fantastic. The head motion is there. Were they lipstick lesbians? <laughs> I don't know what they were. They were really wasted is what they were. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, every good American man is fantasizes about lesbians. That's true. That's Nothing true. wrong with that. Not at all. All right. Uh, so, I will play this last song, mm -hmm. which uh, my wife once said to me, Why don't you write a love song? And I was like, I should write a love song. Uh, actually, it's more like I wrote it despite her. Uh, <laughs> I, I feel like she was like, you, you never write love songs. I was like, Fine, I'll show her. I'll write a fucking love song just for her. There you go. So, this is a, a love song for my wife. Well, two for the show. Cool. Um. much so where can people find you online uh at michaelcoltonmusic.com cool and you're on the i'm on the facebook and the twitter and all, the, all of that stuff all the inner all that wacky interweb stuff the, the interweebs interweebs yeah 
And then uh, there's some nice reviews of new music of mine coming out. Yeah. Um, good things are happening. Yeah. Awesome. Really good things. Good things indeed. We've established that I like good things <laughs> and that I'm a fan of lesbians. <laughs> Amen to sure, that. I'm not sure that this interview is going the way I want it to. No, <laughs> it, 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 it just it just goes wherever it's supposed to go. You know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I am Hysterica, your fabulous driver, and this has been another awesome installment of the Drag Car Sessions. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. Peace out.